This is A to Z with Mark Zinno, part of Locked On Sports Atlanta, and it starts now. Good afternoon. Welcome to A to Z here on Locked On Sports Atlanta, where today I tell you there's still a lot of series left. Welcome in. We are live here on this Friday final road show of the week, final show of the week, as we get you guys set for the weekend. Appreciate you guys starting your day with A to Z and Locked On Sports Atlanta. Give us a follow on Twitter at Locked On ATL. Of course, Matt Marzino, M A R K Z I N N O. We have some uh, NFL news to get to. An interesting stat about the Falcons that I'm very curious to see how it determines the outcome of their season. So we've got that stuff to do. Of course. Major League Baseball news all around, but let's start with the Atlanta Braves and their huge series with the New York Mets last night. Did not go as planned. It did not go as planned for Kyle Wright. Uh, It did not go as planned for the Braves in general. They fought hard, but ultimately they come up short in a game that they lose 5-3. to Uh, And and Kyle Wright gives up four home runs in this game, uh, and that led to four of the five runs that the Mets scored. And obviously it was not a night that Kyle Wright was pleased with. Uh, you do get a little bit of uh, you get a little bit of, of reprieve for Ronald Acuna, who finally hit a home run. It was an 18 game scoreless drought, and finally hits a home run last night. It was a two run shot, and that uh, that ultimately brought the Braves to within two. But that was the closest that they would get, uh, just simply because uh, the Mets pitching, or at least. Uh, Carrasco is very good uh, in the opening part of the game. Their bullpen, Edwin Diaz, gets out there for two innings last night and ends up shutting the door uh, and and cer- certainly makes you, uh, you know, realize how good the Mets are. You know, and I was texting with a friend last night um, and joking around. You know, I've been going back and forth and back and forth um, with, you know, Spencer Strider versus Charlie Morton in the postseason rotation, sort of already not penciling in but putting in pen that Max Fried and Kyle Wright would start. And I was joking around that night. And I said to my buddy, I said, maybe Kyle Wright should be out of the postseason rotation. Ha, ah, ha, just joking around. But, you know, he said to me, he goes, man, like the Mets are so patient up there. You know, they, they are so good at hitting. And, and, and you know, they, they, they take so many pitches and it drives them nuts. And I'm like, yeah, man, that's a – the Mets don't hit the ball out of the ballpark a lot, uh, comparatively speaking to other teams. But what they do is – they're professional hitters from top to bottom, one through nine in that lineup. Even the State Puff Marshmallow guy is pretty good at that. Yeah, Vogelbach. Uh, he looks uncomfortable in that uniform, by the way. Anyway, I digress. Um, you know, he, he, this is a lineup that is going to work you as a pitcher, right? It's going to work you uh, for every pitch you throw on the mound. You're not going to get any freebies from them. They don't make a ton of mistakes. They don't, uh, you know, swing a lot of bad pitches. And they force you to, to uh, you know, come to them, so to speak, as they say, you know, in, in the baseball world. you got, you got to come to them. you you got to put them in position. So it uh, was not a good good night for the Braves, but still um, it was a night that, you know, they showed a lot of fight, and I think that's important. Um, and what's more important than that is what we're going to see tonight. I'll tell you that in a minute. But first, a uh, word from our friends at betonline.net. Your fastest and easiest way to check in on all your betting needs. Find your favorite sports and events at the number one online source for odds, lines, and games. Find reviews and news of every league. Obviously, Major League Baseball going on. Uh, we had a football game last night in the NFL. We'll get to that. Uh, NBA, NHL, combat sports, esports, and even golf. Bet Online continues to be the top online resource for all your sports betting needs. From live in-game betting, scores, podcasts, they've got you covered. Head to Bet Online today or use your mobile device to learn more about the action happening today. Bet Online, where the game starts. Um, before we get to the more important thing, I do want to add this because Dave O'Brien wrote this in The Athletic. Uh, and it's one of these headlines that makes me just sort of roll my eyes a little bit, but uh, it's also fair. And it's Ronald Acuna Jr. saying that his, his, his knee, his surgically repaired knee after his ACL tear, doesn't feel the same. Doesn't always feel the same. You know, through an interpreter, he said, hey, some days it feels okay and I have confidence in it. Some days I don't feel like I have confidence. It's not the same. 
But like I said, it's all part of the process. We keep moving forward. So he snaps this 18-game homerless drought, uh, and hopefully he can start to get going. Because honestly, again, if Acuna gets going, this team reaches a different level on several accounts. It's just where they are. I mean, it's just who they are. It's who they are as a team, and it's, it's really, you know, what makes them different than other teams. Um, because I think that is something that uh, when he is going at the top of the order, everybody else seems to benefit. Now, the more important thing for the Atlanta Braves is about what we see tonight from Ian Anderson. You know, there's an old saying in baseball that momentum is only as good as the next day's starting pitcher. Uh, And even during the Braves' 14-game win streak that put them back in contention this year, right, Uh, Ian Anderson wasn't spectacular. But... You know, he had a good start last time out. He was very, very effective. He goes six innings, gives up just one hit and strikes out nine. But when you go back through that 14-game win streak that started on June 1st, the beginning of the year, you know, June 2nd, he gives up 10 hits and five runs uh, in six innings. And then he gives up two two runs, six hits, and six innings against Oakland, which is a bad offensive team. And then he gives up six hits four runs, and four innings to the Nationals. Those were his three starts. Uh, and, and and the run support he got in those games was 13, 13, and 9. That's – momentum is only as good as the next day's starting pitcher, okay? Unfortunately, Ian Anderson, I, I feel like, has, has, has pitched himself out of the postseason rotation. It's solely why Jake Odorizzi is here, right? Um. You know, the guy had a 6.91 ERA in June, and the team had won, 14, won the first 14 games of the month. <laughs> I mean, that's that's tough. You know, it, it's tough to be that bad. Um, and again, he's got a 4.01 ERA in July. These are not really amenable numbers at all. Uh, in July, from an ERA standpoint, technically was his best month. He was 466 in uh, in April, 413 in May. We just told you June, not July. So uh, if the Braves don't want to start out this series, losing the first two and then having to win three in a row just to gain a game in the standings, which again is a sign of a good team, right? Like that's not anything that you should be all that um, – all that upset about if you're a Braves fan. But, you know, the standpoint of you had two pitchers on the mound um, that you won with, well, at least one you won with in the playoffs last year, one you won with all this year, need need to get something better for me and Anderson tonight. So we'll wait and see how it goes. I don't have a ton of confidence, I'll be perfectly honest. I just genuinely don't. I think Ian Anderson for me is, uh, at least in 2022, is doghouse. Uh, not a guy I want to give the ball to, but again, you know this is a uh, this is a team right now that needs Ian Anderson more than anything, uh, and let's see if he shows up. All right, coming up next, uh, the NFL makes a move um, in the Deshaun Watson case, but we don't have a timeline yet. Plus, the Atlanta Falcons and a stat that I think could be very telling for them coming up this year. That's next right here on A to Z on Locked On Sports Atlanta, free on YouTube. And wherever you get your podcast, search Locked On Sports Atlanta.